Hello beautiful people, my name is Vendi and I'm here to bring you my winter book haul. If you're new you might not know, but I've been on a book buying ban for the better part of a year now. Basically what this means is that I personally didn't buy myself any books for a while. I did this as a method of controlling the size of my physical TBR, which is still pretty out of hand, hence one of my New Year's resolutions being to topple that physical stack down to zero books. But through one way or another, be that, you know, gifts or winning giveaways, I still managed to accumulate a couple of books. And without further ado, I'd like to show you what they are. I call this a winter book haul because the first of these books is one that I got in late November, which I consider winter anyway. And that is Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. Kristen Kishore is the author of the Graceling Realm trilogy, which is one of my favorite fantasy series of all time. So when I heard she was coming out with another book, I had to pick it up. For this one, I convinced my boyfriend to take advantage of my Barnes & Noble membership Black Friday deal for me, and he did, and I got this lovely thing in return. From what I've gathered through other reviews, uh, Jane Unlimited is a multi-genre choose-your-own-adventure novel featuring a queer protagonist, so I'm really really excited to get to this one. I plan on reading it February this year and I can't wait to tell you guys what I think of it. The next book I got over the winter is how to Be a Machine by Mark O'Connell. I actually won this in an Instagram giveaway by the publisher Doubleday Books, whose links I'll have in the description box below. A nonfiction book, which is something that I want to read more of in 2018, considering that most of my life I've just been reading sci-fi and fantasy, which I definitely don't mind, but it turns out but this is actually going to take me back to my sci-fi roots. I don't know very much about To Be a Machine, so I'm just going to read you the synopsis. Transhumanism is a movement pushing the limits of our biology, of our senses, intelligence, and lifespans. It has been quietly exerting its influence on technology for decades, but in the last few years it has achieved critical mass, finding support among some of the biggest names in Silicon Valley and beyond. In To Be a Machine, journalist Mark O'Connell explores the staggering and terrifying possibilities that present themselves when you think of your body as an outmoded device. He visits the world's foremost cryonics facility to witness how some have chosen to forestall death. He discovers an underground collective of biohackers enhancing their senses by implanting electronics under their skin. He meets with members of the Machine Intelligence Research Institute a team urgently investigating how to protect mankind from falling victim to artificial superintelligence. So if that sounds super sci-fi, you're definitely with me on this one. I think it's kind of fascinating that we're living in an age where sci-fi is reality, and hopefully this book will be able to give me some more insight on that, and then after reading it, I can give you guys some more insight on that. The next two books I also got courtesy of my boyfriend and a well-timed Barnes & Noble visit, and they are the Book of Dust by Philip Pullman, and Uprooted by Naomi Novik. So starting with The Book of Dust, The Book of Dust is the first in a prequel trilogy to Philip Pullman's The Golden Compass series. Actually, I think I got that wrong. I think it's the His Dark Material series. It follows a boy named Malcolm in Lyra's Oxford as I think he discovers the secrets of dust, which is one of the framing things of the His Dark Materials series. I absolutely love Philip Pullman and I adored His Dark Materials both in my youth and in my adulthood. So I'm really excited that we get a whole new series that takes place in this world and I'm kind of glad that it doesn't directly follow our protagonists from His Dark Materials because I feel like growing up with them was enough and seeing them as adults would be kind of wrong. Like Lyra's supposed to be a kid, Will is supposed to be a kid forever to me. And I realize that that completely goes against the entire message of the series, but they have to be children for me. It's just a thing that I prefer. Also, it's signed. I've got a signed copy. I've got Philip Pullman signature, guys. When I found this, I had to pick it up. And Marco, my partner, is the absolute best boyfriend in the whole world, so he got that for me. He also got me Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I haven't read this book yet, and I'm absolutely delighted to have a copy in my hands now because I've been obsessed with the idea of reading this ever since I heard Sam from Thoughts on Tomes talk about it. It follows a girl named Agnieszka who lives in a village protected by a dragon, but that protection comes with a price that every 10 years the dragon comes and chooses a girl from her village to just whisk away with him. And if my knowledge of fairy tales is right, Agnieszka is going to be the one that gets whisked away. Either way, I'm really excited to pick this up and give it a read and again let you guys know what I think because I feel like all of these books are things I'm really excited about and I want to share my ideas on them with you. And the last book is actually the one in which I personally broke my book buying ban and that is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. It's another signed copy, and this one's 
personalized because I actually got to meet Holly. Holly joined Sasha Allisberg and Lindsay Cummings on their Boston stop for the Zenith tour. And since I had to see all of them, I definitely went and I knew the moment I saw all those books sitting there that I was gonna flip a coin and choose which one I had to buy because it was a good time for the book buying band to end and I'm also a weak trash human. I'm not gonna give you any details on The Cruel Prince because I have a review of it coming up very, very soon. If you wanna know more, you can check out one of the millions of videos probably at this point. In my opinion, all the hype is absolutely deserved. This is absolutely just such a beautiful, rich story full of political intrigue and morally gray characters and women who actually act like women and queerness and, and fae, Holly Black's fae, which are the best written fairies possibly ever. This book, I just, I love it. I want you to love it. If you're in a book buying ban and you're considering breaking it for this one, do it. It's so worth it. And look how gorgeous it is naked. I wish I looked this beautiful naked. I love this book so much. And there you have it guys, that is my mini winter book haul. I'm now off my book buying ban, though I still don't really buy too many books because I'm a poor college kid, so I'll probably continue doing these as a sort of seasonal thing. Either way, that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you during the next one. Goodbye!